y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling and we have Heidi here. Hello. And Keenan here. Hello. <laughs> nice. From over here. This is, this is our long yacht portion of art journaling. And a long yacht is just uh, a little something extra, something I borrowed from the South where I grew up. And <clears throat> a little something extra comes in all kinds of different formats. And today we're going to go over um, ideas to save a page, which sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, because we've been going through this whole stories of transformation and there are sometimes when we make pages like, okay, well with this one, it turned out, I like it, like this Phoenix and we, we did the butterfly and we did this um, emerge chick and we did, we transformed a blank page into something beautiful. But sometimes we make stuff in our journals that we don't love. Mm -hmm. And we can transform that too. So we're going to give you ideas on how to transform pages and keep moving and going with the momentum instead of being like, oh, I don't like that now. I don't even want to use that journal or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Whatever comes to mind. You can share your struggle if you want. Oh, I've got plenty of pages that are like half done, half washes, but like some that I just... Bring it over here so they can see. Okay. So some that I just don't love. Like this is the one I think I want to cover up where I, I loved where I was mm -hmm. in my brain, but like I chose weird colors you can't really read it and so i'm gonna leave this part but i want to i want to save this page i love it yeah okay um <clears throat> and then i've got other things that i don't love either that i started but i like i like that you started this because i'm going to mm -hmm. point out that sometimes we don't have time for a whole finished page so we might start like a little chaos layer or something like that yeah. and then we can keep coming back and um reacting to that oh that's beautiful there's nothing about that that needs to be fixed. No, I like that one. That's a good one. And that's so pretty. I love this transition. So this pretty. is this is from your very first month of art journaling, your the All About Me page oh, that you yeah. did. That's why I did this. I love it. And then I just never finished it. And so I <laughs> saved the page by adding something that made sense to me. I in love my life. that. I love that. And we can always come back and react to those things. That's why it's so yeah. cool. And okay, so I might have been one of these people where <laughs> I would start a journal and I would do something awesome and then I'd be like, well, I don't know how I'm going to make something as cool as that in the next spread. And so I'd psych myself out and get all precious, y'all, like, like I always do. <laughs> and then uh, maybe I'd do a couple more pages and then either the momentum of what it had, I thought, you know, it's got to be this whole theme. So if I change like in mid stride, it's not going to go with the book. So then I'll just chuck that journal and then I want to start another journal. And I kept on starting new journals and never finishing journals. And then I was like, I got to check in with myself and figure out like, why am I not finishing a journal? Because I'm being precious. Like, it's, and I have learned to like, kind of stick with something and like, enjoy the process of the transformation to finish it has been so satisfying. There's nothing more satisfying than a finished journal. Like, instead of having a billion half started journals like me. that are just sitting around, like, let's, let's finish it. Let's, let's fix that page. And we're going to give you ideas for that. One of the ideas that you can do is collaging over stuff. Yeah. Uh, another idea um, that um, has been shared as pasting in a uh, paper over it and then reacting to that page. So you could do watercolor. Don't you have one of those? Yeah, I do. Um, so yeah, just cutting right out here. some paper and adding it to, oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Is this gouache? It is. On watercolor. I yes. love it. So you could do that. That's a really great op um, opportunity. And I love yeah. that you put the tape in there. It just kind of gives it dimension. Yeah. Um, You've, you've heard me say we can just gesso over it, and I've used white gesso in the past, but since we have this black gesso in the box, I wanted to talk about yes. that. So we're gonna use the supplies we have in the box, and we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna pick a page that maybe just needs some bluff, needs finishing, needs some correction, whatever, and we're gonna go for it. And this is gonna be really, like, we didn't plan this out. We're just gonna, we're just gonna hang out and paint with you like we do. Yep. Can I okay. talk about this? Yes. So I wanted to share, this is a page that is not my favorite but this is something that's meaningful to me i'm not gonna like share everything but my sisters and i i have three sisters we did a sister christmas for the first time ever this is not my favorite page ever to look at but i'm really glad that i didn't like try to cover it and redo it right away because now like it's been you know a year and a half since i did this and now it, i it may not be my favorite looking at it but i love like how I just wanted to fill the page with the with the giant words of what we did together and and so it's okay sometimes to just like set aside a little bit of time before you 
go and cover something. Yeah, else. I think that's a great point. I love that page. And I love that sometimes like the moment that we're in that we're making art might not be like this moment that we want to share with the world, but it like invokes the feelings that we had when we made it. And that's yeah. okay. That is not a page that needs to be fixed. And I think Heidi's right. Having um, space when you're like, I don't know about this. And then having another time to look back on it with fresh eyes may change your perspective of like how you view it. So don't, Definitely. Don't like make something and then just be like, oh, I hate this and immediately cover it. <laughs> Give it some space, then come back, check in with it. That's that's a good point. Okay, I wanna talk about our supplies that we're using really quickly before we like jump into making. Um, there are the supplies that come with the Stories of Transformation box. Um, we are gonna use crushed grape. Mm. I know, isn't that such a Delicious. great name? Delicious. Pure Sunshine by Dilusions. And then we're gonna use the Black Gesso from Dina Wakely and Ruby. Okay, and then inside the box, we also have this dot, color dot pin, but Heidi, I don't want you to be limited by that. I brought all of the colors. Woo. And these are available on our website, and you might have already had gold from January. Did you I did have that one already? at home, yes. And I think that's all the colors. If not, there's some more hanging around here somewhere if you need something. But let's give you okay. a silver for sure that you have on your side, and then we can kind of Thank you. bounce okay. around with these. Oh yeah, there's this blue one too. I don't know what this one's actually called. It's not called blue, it is called blue. Oh. And then you may have the outline from the, it's all cut up. I have all these pieces, but it was one, the big sheet earlier. And so maybe by <coughs> reacting, you might want to use one of these. And we got some graphite paper as well as the collage paper that came in the box. Whatever extra pieces you have left after using it could also be a supply. And I think that's all of our supplies. And we'll just wing it as far as the techniques that we're sharing. And, um, yeah, we'll just chat about stuff and they'll be super low key. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, so I want to show you that I don't I don't just make these pages like that. Like I have some some uh, exploration that happens in my own journal. Like this guy. It's 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 time for you to bloom. So I'm gonna have to do something with that. <laughs> um, but I, there were some elements I liked about this, and it ultimately ended up doing like a full page spread, and you know it went a different way. But I'd like to react to this, and I'm using a different quote here than I did over there, so it could be cool. And even when I was started first started thinking about the phoenix. Ooh, look at that! Oh my Ooh. goodness! So I color swatched what I had hoped we were gonna use for the box and I did some mixing so I can know like, hey, if I mix this yellow and black, I'm gonna get this green. Um, mixing this and getting that, like just, you can diffuse those bright colors if that's not your thing. <clears throat> and so I was kind of playing with that. And then I was like, I think I wanna do a Phoenix. And so that was my first thing. But um, I've noticed in the groups just recently and it's always been a thing, some people will take an extra journal to swatch and do this so they don't feel the pressure of having that page in this journal but i want to challenge you go back and look at your swatch journal if that's something that you enjoy doing if it's not try it out i think it's kind of a cool fun thing mm -hmm. you got some swatches bringing them in i do but i you know i do all of this just to play and try mm -hmm. new things and so this is when i was playing with with gouache a little bit and so i just have the swatch in there and then instead of making it separate i just decided to add some silly faces and leave some things. <laughs> I you know? love that. And it's so cool to see what happens when these two colors are next to each other, yeah. like this vibration of like contrast, um, what works. Yes. And doing those kind of things, exploring really will inform your next mm -hmm. um, iteration of what you're doing. Yes. So I like it right next to it. That's a cool way to do complementary colors too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. for sure. So if you want, pick a page in your journal that you're like, uh, this needs something to do and follow along with us or um you know get crazy do do your own thing that's what we're gonna do you ready i'm ready all You're right ready. Let's, do it. let's see i think i'm gonna just dispense some paint get crazy and i'm gonna just start adding some more color to this um, i'm definitely gonna use gesso to black this part out and then maybe uh use the gesso throughout to kind of balance it we'll see how it goes but i'm gonna mix this crushed grape and ruby to get sort of an in-between color and I might not be the best person to share a palette with. I'm just gonna apologize now. You know what? We're gonna get through it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> We've painted together before. That's true. I'm not shy. So I, I'm gonna use some of the gesso too, but I like some of the textures that I have in here. So I'm trying to just sketch out a little bit, like maybe things I wanna keep. Okay. So that I can paint over most of it, but Let's not see. Bring it over here. all of it. 
Oh yeah, so she's sketching out this. I like it. There we go, right there. Yeah. Little butterflies, lean into the butterfly. I love this one that you did. Thanks. Even the looseness of it, how it almost, it does look a little bit unfinished, but to me that like, you know, there could be something to that. Yeah, and there's something about like making something you know isn't gonna be a finished thing that uh -huh. ends up being kind of loose and free yeah. that can turn into a finished piece. It's like you trick yourself. You're like, this isn't gonna be anything, I'm just gonna have fun, and then, oh my gosh, it turned out cool, or you know, whatever. That's how you get that kind of free, those free expression, those free strokes. Very loose. Yeah. Because you're not being precious. That's right. I'm learning your words. <laughs> Trust in the process, that's another way to say that. I'm gonna get this out. Do you have another one of these? Of course. Am I left? I might have to get a pin and here we go. That's better. Thank you. I'll let the cap on that too long. You know, when you leave the cap on the whole time you're filming, it's you can do that. I'm just gonna get a darker value of this purple and then I'm gonna add a little bit of ruby to it. I'm going straight black a little bit, and then I think I'm going to transition to a lighter color, like as I get um, to the edges of the page. That'll be cool. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. That's the hope, right? I just want our friends to know that everything that we do isn't like perfect <laughs> and don't hold yourself up to that standard because there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into sharing these projects with you that. I just Absolutely. want you to know, it's not, it's a process. So the whole point of me saying that is like, don't be critical about where you're at or what you're doing. Just, just get to painting already. Cause that is what happened. Like something happens when my paintbrush gets to my, touches my paper in my brain. Like that can't happen any other way, <laughs> you know? But there's so many things that get in the way of my paintbrush getting to my paper. Like, all the guilt that I have for the dishes that are stacking up or things that I need to be doing. And I struggle to get to the paper, like with my brush, like all the time. That's actually what this page is about that I'm painting over. I took a picture of it so that I wouldn't lose like what I said. Oh, good. But um, that's really what it is about is like, just when you feel like passionate and you feel a purpose for something like, for me, create the creative practice has become like an important part of my life and my mental health and my actually my physical health because of my like my own health journey with a chronic mm -hmm. illness. And so it's become an important part of my life so that n no matter the result, it's always time well spent. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if it's something I wanna show somebody later, like just the act of creating mm -hmm. and having a mindful moment is so cool. So when me and Keenan filmed the butterfly one, I was talking about how um, art helps me pay attention to detail. And we had that he just happened to have a real butterfly like what? out in the car. Um, and he brought this it in and we looked at the details. So we actually got more details on this guy because I was looking at that. But that, that's amazing. But I think it's cool that like art gives us that opportunity to slow down and notice details that maybe we otherwise wouldn't be aware of because we didn't take the time to slow down and notice it, right? So it's the same. There's advantages of painting that we get. Do you often have butterflies in your car, Keenan? Never. Okay. This is one very serendipitous timing butterfly death wow. that we took advantage of to show everyone what a beautiful butterfly looks like. And what's crazy is I had a Luna bur butterfly that I had in my car and then I took it out and I thought I had brought it with me and I didn't. So I was already feeling bummed that I forgot it. And then he had, so there was like two butterflies. Wait, so you had a butter, like a real butterfly ready to bring. Yes. And oh I forgot it was a Luna one with like that neon yellowy green oh, color. Mm -hmm. oh, and it had the, it had more of this kind of um, shape on the wing at the bottom, like that little um, tail or whatever. And, um, I forgot it, but then he had a backup That's butterfly. Amazing. It was serendipitous. Good job, Keenan. Thanks. Okay, Keenan. so I just covered up this it's with a little black um, gesso. Look how like it's my, it looks like it didn't even happen. And nice. then I'm just gonna incorporate um, that black into my layout, and I'm just gonna have fun with it.
Uh, we got quiet. I know, we're enjoying the process. I haven't painted in a little while, so I'm actually pretty excited about doing this. Yeah, I don't have any plans for this. I'm just going with it. Me too. I think I do wanna, sorry, I was going for the Go back. for it. I just wanna add some black to my butterfly. So as I add black in my page, because I'm having to use it to cover up stuff, I'll have it in my details. I think that helps just as far as composition to repeat a color in other places so that mm. it can kind of feel cohesive. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good little trick. I think somebody told me that they do that with characters in writing too. Like if they introduce a character, they have to introduce it more than once or something. Mm. I never really thought about that, but now I've been trying to pay attention. And I've noticed like, oh, that little side little minute character came back at the end of the movie. Like, there it is. Yeah, there it is again. that's interesting. Or you have to have like a significant enough moment with that character for that one time to be enough. Mm -hmm. that, like the same with color, like that pop of color. If it's strong enough, maybe you don't need it everywhere. Yeah, but sometimes it can make something feel cohesive if it is like yes. here and there. Just a touch, little titch, little touch of color there. Mm -hmm. I can't decide if I want to add more of this kind of detail to it or if I want to leave it alone. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I could put a body in the middle. Mm. Doing it. Do it. Or a cheeseburger. <laughs> I know, just give that cheeseburger a wing. How long have we been filming Keenan. before he mentioned Yeah, David? I know. I'm like, did you, didn't you already eat? I like to eat. Does that, I guess that doesn't make a difference. Yeah, no, I like to eat. Yeah, whether he ate already doesn't mean that he won't mention some kind of food. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Either, it's either meal time or snack time. The Look, way that Keenan's You know heart. what you're about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I did this. I'm liking it. I love it. I just love how loose and free that is. It just looks effortless. Probably because you weren't expecting it to be like a permanent thing, right? No, you I was just had playing. Fun. I'm like, what happens if I let this color bleed into yeah. that color? Oh, it's yeah. so fun. That's why, like, even when you're playing and when you practice, like I always try to put it on at least like paper that is good enough where if I wanted to cut it out and put it on something else, like I'm not gonna be sad that I used the wrong paper, you know, because mm -hmm. even your practice can turn into something. My um, high school art teacher would tell me that all the time. He would be like, what are you doing painting on your <laughs> notebook paper at school? <laughs> notebook because paper. it's literally what I have. He was like, you need to carry around better paper than that because your art deserves to be on good paper. Hmm. And I was like, well, I was just doodling. He's like, yeah, but look how cool that turned out. You weren't trying to be serious, but then it turned out cool. But and it would have been yeah. a really great piece if you would have used better paper. So I feel like he was always trying to get me to use better paper. And I was always like, it's fine. <laughs> Because I was intimidated by the better paper. Right, it's like you're being precious with your materials. I need that don't be precious reminder more than anybody. <laughs> I tell you right now, that's why I say it to myself. Cause y'all, we can overthink stuff. Mm. I just don't want it to ruin anybody's art experience. Like just keep going, just keep painting. Just keep going. And acrylic paints are so forgiving. You can always paint over. Or with gesso, there's not a lot that gesso can't cover up. It's true, and black gesso, even better. Mm. And that's what's so fun about this gesso in our box is that we can get crazy with it. I'm starting to feel precious, like I don't know what to do next. I've just got to quit it. I'm going to dry this really fast. Walk away from it, do something else. You got any you, snacks over there? What are you going to do here? I think I want to put some dots in some of these darker areas Ooh. to kind of like echo the pretty. Thing. All right, let's, okay, we got, so we got the top camera, you can see everything, because I want them to be able to, so, ooh, look at that transition of that, like, rusty to the purple, mm, yeah, I like I that. I didn't even use the orange yet. And now that you've changed the, that, it's, like, feeling like it belongs with that page yeah. over there more. Good, that was my hope. Okay. Yeah, it's funny, I didn't even realize before I started that these colors on the left are very similar yeah. to what I'm using. It's perfect. <laughs> like it was meant to be. Okay, just my pro tip, if you're drying a page, dry the other side so it doesn't buckle as much. 
Oh, didn't know that. And you want to lift your page so the air can actually flow through. Don't just like let it be on flat because then it's not going to get through the paper. And I, I feel like it helps it be flatter. Although in this instance, I wet it in some weird spots and it's just trying to buckle everywhere. But that's all right. It's going to be great. You know what? I want more black. That's what I want. I don't like the butterflies, so I'm going to paint over them. Well, maybe you need to give yourself some space. Didn't you just say that earlier? Yeah. <laughs> give it some space, Heidi. This has had a lot of space. I think I started this page like over probably a year and a half ago. All right, that's fair, that's fair. So I don't feel emotionally connected to what I did as much as I do the message. So that's why I'm leaving this part of it, which was like, this was actually lettering that I did with uh, Nicole. With uh, no, with the uh, that with the graphite pencil that you had in one of your boxes. Oh yeah, the I uh, love that pencil. the the water soluble. Mm -hmm. That's a fun one to use. It's good. It is very fun. I but I actually like took some of it and got it. Oh, I remember Wet, that. and then used a paintbrush with it. So this was with a paintbrush. She kind of like dissolved just, it into like a cap or something, didn't you? Uh -huh. like, yes, I know. I, I like to play. That's my creative time is very much about letting loose because I have a pretty firm controlling grasp on <laughs> other aspects of my life usually. So painting and creativity doesn't need to be a part of that, right? That can be a way to let go. Yep. And just show up in the other ways in your life better. Like, I feel like it's hard mm -hmm. for me to give myself permission to paint when there's so many other things that we done. And, um, yeah. but if I don't paint, I get grumpy <laughs> and I'm not nice showing up to all those things that I think are more important. So whenever I give myself time to paint, I show up as a more patient mom and just all, all, all better. It's all better when I paint. I think I want to, be darker. Sorry, I've been mixing all these colors where you were using it also. It's all right. <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking about what I could put on top of this, but the contrast next to the other page, like it's I don't- so good. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do much there. I'm probably just gonna let it dry and see what happens. about my reach. It's okay. Sorry, I got quiet. I'm concentrating. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. Stops being fun and go get a snack and come back. There you go. Hit the pause button. <laughs> Take five minutes. Get a cosmic brownie box. I feel like they should be sponsoring your I know. Already. I was going to say, are you sponsored by... Yes. No. By I cosmic brownies person. specifically. Yeah, because the one with the like the crushed peanuts on there, not good. Okay, yeah. it oh the other type of brownie. <laughs> it is time, so I need like a little um, what you call it right there, right? Apostrophe. Is that right? Yes. I always have to think about it, and then oh, maybe I should dot my eye too. Yeah, it's when there's when you're talking about ownership is when you don't put an apostrophe. Oh yeah, thanks for that. This is why I love marketing team and how they're always looking out <laughs> for me. I'm the grammar police for everyone I know, so <laughs> whether I, I can't help myself. Let's Make Art, all these things that we do is really a team effort. It is not me alone. There are so many things that everybody does. And one of them is making sure that I don't <laughs> put apostrophes in the wrong place, but you know there what? are so many more. We catch most of them, but we miss stuff too. That's okay. That's okay. Don't be precious about it. We do try. <laughs> as long as you're doing your best, that's all that matters. I love these dot pens um. so much. Yeah, those dot pens are fun. 
varying sizes of dots you can create with just one little tool. They are pretty fantastic. I know. You've got the thin, like the, the fine point on the one side. Mm -hmm. It's like a mini bingo dauber to me. You know, I, oh. my grandma loved bingo, and I would just love to go to town with her bingo dauber on stuff and like turn it into whatever, and she would laugh at me. But it's really that. Like, I think that I just am realizing that it's brought back this like childhood nostalgia of the bingo. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, yeah. Daubers, he's shaking his head. It's like a thick stamp almost, like it's almost like a marker, but it has a thick circle on the end. But you just go, you just stamp out the ones that are called. The number, you know, when you're playing numbers. Bingo. Yeah. And then when you win, you yell, bingo! I yeah. just wanted to yell bingo. That is, <laughs> that is also true, yeah. How bingo works. Bingo! Bingo. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> this guy. I actually really love how this gold one is almost like a more of a brass oh, yeah. color because it, it almost like like I I you know me when I doodle I paint leaves <laughs> and it's just got, doodle. it's got enough of black in it enough black in it that it it can read green a little bit in mm -hmm. certain like as the green replacement I my go-to doodle is fire. <laughs> Really? I just draw like flames on stuff. I don't know why. If I'm in a meeting and it's getting long and I'm like, whatever, <laughs> I'm just like, just warming things up over here. <laughs> it's not as pretty as really, I'm gonna tell you that, that right now. Makes me think of the Phoenix again. Oh, yeah. They just set everything on fire first and then. It's not a very nice way of saying I'm like, that. I, 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 the meetings aren't that bad. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do that. I, I will doodle during meetings and like when I have to be just sitting for a long time because it helps me actually stay focused. Me too. I can't free up my brain without the fatigue mm -hmm. of sitting and listening for a long time. I'm just adding layers of paint over here. I'm just having a good time. I don't have a plan. So that's why I stopped talking about technique because I don't even know what I'm doing, but it's going to be all right. When I, I like to like you really do have some blooms that look like watercolor because you're watering down the acrylic paint, which is, you know, something you can do in an art journal. Oh, this paper, like, because it's so quality, you can really push it. Where uh, if it was a different kind of paper, this would not be happening, y'all. But that's what I love about this mixed media journal. It's just, it's fabulous. Oh, I just shook some more paint on my other painting, but that's gonna be all right. My other, this guy. Some splatters. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna splatter, I'm gonna do some splatters. I, th I think I wanna bring some more of that red in. Sorry, I got really into this. I don't even know how long we've been it's going It's like a here, watermelon. It's like such a bright, vibrant red. It reminds me of watermelon. I just expected Keenan to start singing that watermelon song. Keenan, do you I like did. do you like sour candy? Yes. Have you ever tried the Sour Patch watermelon candies? I've had the Sour Patch Kids, like a bag of them, but not the specific one. There's a kind that's not the kids. It's watermelon, and the whole bag is watermelon flavored. They're not as sour. Oh. They're but the great. Watermelon is always a good flavor to get. I like I like them for when I'm driving home after a long day to keep me awake and alert when I'm driving. Popping them for my commute. Yeah, <laughs> gotta just have it ready, just in case. Watermelon sugar. There it is. <laughs> I just love that he can just bust out with like all the confidence in the world. Like <laughs> my it's, voice is not that. It's false confidence. I, I thought it sounded great, so... What's false about it? Uh, it's like, oh, can't sound the total worst, so I'm just gonna, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna just go for it. I think that's just confidence. Yeah, I'm like not the worst, so I'm gonna sing. Like, that is confidence. Look, I believe strongly that singing is about how it makes you feel... Versus how you... More than just how it sounds to other people. Oh, Do y'all know okay. this about Heidi, that she's a professional trained... Vocalist? Well, is that what you call it? I guess. Yep. It's many talents. That is true. My mom is a voice teacher, has her doctorate in vocal education. Did I say it right? So you can say vocalist? Like, I don't know about vocalist. journalist, but vocalist sounds yes, right. Yes, vocalist is real word. Okay. Yeah. I love to sing. I don't, I don't actually love to perform. Like, uh, that's never been my favorite, but singing has always been my favorite. So I actually started school in music education before I switched. Oh, yeah? Yeah, wow. in college, I had a scholarship and everything. Just so you know, the scholarship doesn't stay if you change your major. 
weird. <laughs> if it's Rude. like a Pro tip. if it's like a talent based audition based scholarship, you don't get to keep it. It's if weird. You if you major. get a grade one, they no, don't like it when that. you don't have good grades either. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that from experience. <laughs> to be clear, I knew that when I changed my major. It was not like a surprise, but I think I ended up in the right spot. Yeah, you did. Jesse, can you show us the edge you've been working on? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I couldn't see it. Okay. I was waiting for you to shift, but I didn't want to be pushy. Oh, thanks for not being pushy, but I, I'm, I'm okay. Look at that. That I so love cool that. that butterfly. Well, do you think this, like, is adding to that, like, kind of? Yeah, I like this, the, just the painterly color swatches and things like this. It's really beautiful. It's changed the mood of that page, and it's really fun yeah. to see. I'm thinking it needs something in here, so maybe some of this kind of thing can happen, and then I'm gonna hit it with dot pin, and then. So where did this go. quote phrase come from? Like, why bloom with a butterfly? I don't know. I think I was thinking okay. like maybe I'll do something with a flower instead of the butterfly because I feel like I've done a lot of butterflies in our stuff, but I, it's because I relate to that butterfly experience. And then I was like, no, like I feel like that whole transformation is kind of like blooming, so I kind of mix them together. Okay. And now that you pointed out, I'm like, yeah, those are not related, but that's okay. <laughs> it well, can be whatever. It's all right. Well, you could add some little element if you wanted to, if you were worried oh, yeah, about it. Like a sort of flower element. But if you're not worried about it, do whatever you want. I think I might try that. Well, I want this to dry and I really want to play with my um, black areas with that dot because I really want to play with that. We'll see. I'm going to dry this really fast. When I get really excited about drawing and painting, I lose all track of time. Like, I have no idea how long we've been painting. Um, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe 40 minutes. Awesome. That's a guess. Heidi went on to another page. I'm liking what she's doing. I did there. while my other one dries. It's a different journal. And yeah, while I decide what I want to do with that, it might be done. I don't know. That's the beauty now. of different journals. You can pop back and forth between them. Yeah, and I have so many in process, in progress pages because like the reason I do art journaling is some to like practice techniques and, and shapes and things like that. But, um, but really it's just like, because I physically need to put something on paper, you know? <laughs> I just noticed when you were painting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Did you see what she's painting, Keenan? Yeah, that's a perfect little page or for that lettering. Book, too. Um, because it's pink. It's pink, Jesse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't, y'all, I don't love pink. <laughs> Is that a secret that I can like say at this point? You can say it. There's no shame. Um, I grew up with a lot of pink when I was little because I'm the only girl and the only granddaughter. My mom's an only child. And they got really excited after two boys that I was a girl. <laughs> and, but I mean, really excited. Like I had a pink bed and a pink bedspread and pink curtains and pink dresses. Oh. And it was a lot of pink. A I lot mean, pink. just think of all the excitement that was attached to all of those decisions. When I was five, <laughs> I got a red dress and it was the best thing in my life. They even had those little jingle bells on the bottom, you know, so when you walked up, oh, maybe that's, that's like a so southern cute. thing, it was like one of those big bell skirts. It was the best that thing ever. That sounds so cute. And I said, no more pink <laughs> to my family. That's it, no more pink. And they were like, what? I'm like, so I am the sixth of seven kids. And so I didn't get a lot of new stuff. Like I was, I had a great childhood, honestly. Like I have literally nothing to complain about, but I never had like a ton of pink stuff. It was just like whatever we had. <laughs> and it was the eighties, right? Like we were frugal and we'd pass on. Yeah. I have three older sisters. And so I probably have a lot of their stuff for the most part. <laughs> but I love, you know, I love pink. Yeah. And we talked about this before, I think maybe even on camera, I don't know. But like she's gravitates t towards the colors because they energize her mm -hmm. and that's what she's looking for. And I gravitate towards colors and since I'm all like a little spaz, <laughs> I like calm <laughs> colors, right? Like calm colors. <laughs> and so uh, we noticed this difference um, in our, yes. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what is the, things we're drawn to, whatever. Yeah. 
the time spent, like what is the purpose of it for you? And so I do gravitate toward bright colors quite a bit. I like, I just like color in general, um, but definitely the energizing colors are important for me. So I'm just going over my black gesso and areas with this dot pen because I feel like it kind of gives like an emerging, I don't know, something. This is not going to be a finished page by the time we're done filming, but that's all right. It's a process. S-E-N. I love it. Hmm? You're S-E-N, right? Mm-hmm. Just checking out. Just think I have a lot of E's in my name. That's how people remember. Okay. A lot of E's, but it's okay. Okay. Now you've been, you're officially a part of my... Quoted. Quoted. Now you put, <laughs> below her name you put... Yeah, because you made the page. That's what you're saying. I'll sign like it down here. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Michael, Michael Scott. Scott. I'm quoting Jesse, so. Oh, that's amazing. Well, this is still a work in progress. I'm going to keep going with this, and then uh, if I do something really spectacular with this page, I'll show it again. But I think. Just hanging out, painting, like. If we hadn't set this time aside to do this, I probably would not be painting. Right? T today, right now, right? And so, Blame. you just gotta set aside the time, I know. You gotta paint. Gotta set aside time, I, you This know, is your permission slip. Just paint, forget those dishes, or whatever exa it is. Exactly. We go through lots of different things, seasons, what is it, Tran stories, stories of transformation. Of transformation yeah. And I have been in a long transition from moving, from, you know, fun changes at work, things like that. And uh, I haven't painted at home in like in like a couple months. What? I know. I, I went a while where I was doing it every single day, but like, that's okay, right? Like, mm -hmm. like sometimes you need something different. And well, so doing this now is awesome. And the fact that I'm not having to start from scratch too, I is think, kind of perfect. I think it's important to like look at your your practice um, and your pace and not like say like, I have to do it every day unless that fits. Mm -hmm. And if there's a time when every day doesn't work for you, as long as you're checking back in and you're making some effort for it to be a ritual in some way, then that's okay. Like, that's okay. Yeah. Um, we all have different ebbs and flows of our season of being able to um, to show up creatively. Just don't forget it forever. Like, yeah. check back in. That's good stuff. Well, that's why I have you here to help me too <laughs> with that. And we Keenan, all have Jesse to help us with that. Our cheerleader, he'll cheer us on whenever we need it. I'm here for it. <laughs> Go art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. It's so fun. I'm I think I'm to gonna. I think I'm gonna stop for a minute because I could keep going forever. But I'm gonna stop. I love what you did. I even I like how the dots that you put here are like very clearly related to the dots here. Even the size that you did and how you placed it. I love it. Thanks. I'm going to think beautiful. about what I want to do with this area um, a little bit and then I'll just go for it. But I think I'm at a good stopping point for now. Um, so to recap what we've done, are you at a good stopping point? Yeah, I am. Um, we talked about ideas to save a page. So we talked about collaging over it. Did you have an example of collage? I don't think um, the Wabi Sabi um, one actually. is, oh yeah, I'll see it. The Wabi Sabi one that I taught where we have all those different layers is a good example of that. So we can link to that. And oh, yes, the chaos this later. This is the one that I did in another long up. Yeah, we did recycled you. stuff. And so I had actually completely painted over this page and then collaged over it as well. Mm -hmm. So collage is a great example um, of how to, you know, just reintroduce elements to your page. I think that's Pasting in watercolor it. page or some other kind of mixed media pa paper, whatever you got is, gonna, is good. Gesso. White gesso is great. Black gesso is great. Well, um, the gel matte medium that mm -hmm. you use too is perfect for putting just a tiny, you know, collage over a small section, and then it blends in. You can paint right over it. Yes. So good. I love all these ideas, and I love that um, you don't have to to settle for a page that you don't like. You can come back and and play with it and keep going, keep creating. Mm. That's what, oh yeah, let's throw that one, put that one in the middle so they can see it all the way. That just goes so well with yours now. I love it, yeah. It's like into we, the colors, we were, for sure. We're like on the same page, like look at these guys, like that could be fun next to that right there. Look at that, cool. Nice. Well, mm. that makes me maybe want to paint this whole thing black <laughs> and then do a different copy, like on over there, that might be rad. It would be, it would be rad. 
Oh man, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank, good job making time for art. Like if you made it this long and you're thinking about art, that's good. Now get your paintbrush out if you haven't got it all already. Um, and we love it when you share what you make and especially this project because it could go a whole bunch of different ways. I mean, the page that you're looking to fix yeah. is gonna be different, right? And the way that you choose to fix it is gonna be different and it's gonna inspire somebody else. So thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up in our community. You can check out what we made um, what each other has made on our Let's Make Art Facebook group. You can also check out the hashtag um, on Instagram if you hang out there, Let's Make Art Journals. Thanks so much for like being willing to show up in this way. This is like a you vulnerable bet. thing. Like you didn't even know what you were gonna do. You're like, all right, I'll do this on camera oh, with you. Like, yeah. <laughs> thank you, no, that's good so job. Fun. That's my favorite. Awesome, thanks Keenan. You're welcome. We'll see y'all next time.